All right, so we're going to start. Um, non homogeneous linear differential equations. NHLDE. Yep. This will be the annihilator approach. And here are some of the key points in order to use this. Number one, well, the outline, so to speak. Find the complementary function. Two, find a particular solution. Okay, and step one, this is the equivalent of solving the equation if it were homogeneous. Step two, now we actually solve the particular find the particular solution, and we treat it as non-homogeneous. Okay, and this method is only going to work um, for the kinds of equations we've been dealing with, which are those that have constant coefficients, okay? And um, since we're taking the annihilator approach, we should be able to annihilate the functions that the differential equation is set equal to. Okay, so if it's some kind of function that we're not familiar with, like maybe we don't know how to annihilate a tangent of x or a cosecant, then we will not be able to solve the equation with this approach. Okay. First example. Okay, we're basically going to go through these two steps. So let's say we have d squared y over dx squared plus 3 times dy dx plus 2y equal to 4x squared. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is find the complementary function, which is the solution to the equation if it were actually a homogeneous equation. And if that is the case, then this differential equation has a co uh, an auxiliary function, which would be what? Good. So the characteristic or auxiliary equation corresponding to this differential equation is m squared plus 3m plus 2 equal to zero if it's homogeneous and then we solve for m as we have done previously so we get two roots negative two negative one so this is what we call the complementary solution which would be what c1e to the minus 2x plus c2e to the minus x. Okay. So, so far we haven't done anything unusual, except for the fact that we've ignored this 4x squared. Okay, so now we're going to pay attention to it. And what we're going to do, since we pretty much only know how to solve these when they're equal to 0, is actually make this equal to 0. And we can do that by what? annihilating it. So we're going to annihilate this function over here. And we're going to multiply 
both left hand side and right hand side by the same differential operator. So what do we use to annihilate 4x squared? Good. So we're going to have d cubed. And now what we'll do is apply it to not only the left hand side but the right hand side. So on the right we get 0. And I'm just going to switch formats from auxiliary to differential operator notation. We're applying d cubed. We're still going to have d plus 2, d plus 1. So this is the differential equation after you write it in differential operator form. Now g of x, or in this case 4x squared, is annihilated. Okay. And we can write the general solution from this. Let's just go straight down in order here. If we have d cubed, we have a repeated root of what? Zero. So the solution will be, for that part, c1 plus c2x plus c3x squared. The other two roots are the ones we already had. So we have c4 e to the minus 2x plus c5 e to the minus x. Okay. So this is what the general solution looks like. This we already found. This was the complementary function, right? Which means then that, by default, this stuff over here is your particular solution. Any questions on that? Yeah. What if we have like C? Well, because we've basically transformed this differential equation from second order into fifth order, if you think about it. So even though the original So yeah. This one, okay. This is kind of confusing. This was just to kind of help us see what the complementary function looks like. Okay, so really the C1 and C2 up here don't mean so much. This is just so we can identify, okay, we already know this part of the solution. Here's what we really need to find. It's this part here. So really we have three undetermined coefficients that we need to figure out. Okay? And we can do that by, um, why don't I do this? To make life a little easier, I'm just going to call the coefficients a, b, c. So we have a plus bx plus cx cubed, uh, squared. Okay. Now to actually find out what a, b, and c are, we're going to plug in this solution into the equation and then actually look at the coefficients and compare them and see if we can figure out from there what they are. So we'd have to find first derivative and second order since this is a second order equation. So what is the first derivative of this particular solution here? And then second order? Okay. Hi. Let me pause this for a second. Can't pause? Okay.